guys, it's Zaley, and I have four topics to discuss. Firstly, and briefly, we are moved, so that is very, very exciting. I love having a bedroom, living in a studio apartment. It wasn't bad, it wasn't terrible, it was a good experience, but having a one bedroom is definitely better. I like having a room to ourselves. <laughs> so anyway, topic number two. Here's Yuya, just being adorable. Um, I haven't really had time to play with him very much. I keep planning on taking him outside and taking pictures, but it just hasn't happened. Right now he is wearing um, what I have deemed as his PJs for the moment. It is essentially um, kind of like a fun kimono style outfit that Tasu made. Um, my friend and previous owner of this doll. Um, she made it specifically for his old character, Domino. Um, so it's kind of weird seeing him in Domino's old outfits when he's not Domino anymore. Um, but I don't know, I thought this would make kind of like cute PJs um, for him. So yeah, Yuya looking adorable in chess piece <laughs> fabric pajamas. I guess that means he likes chess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, um, topic number two, three. We're on three. First one was moving. Got it. <laughs> topic number three, I don't know if you guys really remember this girl. Um, I had bought her from Winnie BJD. And it is a Kid Delph Yule Human Head. Um, I had attempted in selling her. And it just didn't go well. There wasn't a lot of interest it felt like on the second-hand marketplace and I the one interested buyer who wanted to buy her ended up having to back out due to um, personal financial reasons um, and I understand that and I'm not upset about that it just was kind of she seemed really excited to um, get her but she said she was backing out entirely and indefinitely um, so um, I decided after that um, it kind of I guess it kind of left a bad flavor in my mouth. Um, as I said, not blaming the buyer, just circumstances and the fact that the sculpt wasn't getting as much interest as I thought. So I decided to keep her and she will eventually become one entire doll. I'm not sure when. Um, I think the first thing I... There's two cats fighting outside apparently. Maybe my husband's watching something. I think my husband's watching something. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I wish I knew how to clip that out, but I seriously thought I was hearing cats fighting. And I guess it was something my husband was watching, because once I leave the window right here, and once I really started listening, it's, it's coming from around the door. Anyway, sorry about that. But she's first gonna get a face up. Um, mostly because I don't have a character planned out for her. I've been thinking of names. Um, and I have some names. I have a list. Um, but I'd really rather see her with a face up. And obviously I don't know what kind of face up I want for her. But she has a very sweet face. And uh, it just she's just got a sweet face. I mean, look at that, guys. Come on. Super sweet. Um, just in case you were wondering, she's wearing Domino's default eyes. Um, 16 millimeter gray glass eyes. I kind of like them in her, but I don't know if they're the right, the right color. And obviously, <laughs> I have her wearing Domino's old hat. Um, I don't really like this hat on Yuya. Um, a lot of the reason is because his hair is so poofy that it doesn't fit right. So she's wearing this so she's not bold, bald. Uh, it keeps her ears warm at night and all that good stuff. <laughs> but um, but um, I'd like to get her out for a face up and that probably won't happen honestly until Alicia, aka Denali Wynn, gets back. I haven't messaged her about it because I don't have the money for it yet, but I really love what she, done with, she did with Yuya, so I'm probably just gonna send um, my Yule head to her as well. Um, 
and just probably say have fun. Um, as I said, I don't have a specific, anything specific about this girl in mind, um, and I just kind of want to see her come to life so I can make a character for her. Um, what else? Oh, I said she won't be getting a body anytime soon, but four, which we didn't know before, I've put my pull-up Alice du Jardin up for sale. Um, I've essentially, even though I like pull-ups, I've decided they're not for me, and I feel really bad for just always having my pull-up on a shelf, and I know there's lots of people out there, lots of pull-up owners and collectors that love pull-ups and will play with them and give them attention. So, um, I decided to put her up for sale, um, got her up for sale on Saturday, um, and I've already had two people met. Um, message me about buying her or basically express an interest in purchasing her um, so I'm hoping she'll sell soon um, I'm selling her for $100 plus shipping um, the reason being is um, that it's a hundred is because she's coming with a limited leaky world wig um, if she had her other wig if she had her default wig I'd probably sell her for 90 or 80 but since she has um, the Leaky World Limited wig, I'm selling her for a hundred because the Leaky World wig in itself was expensive. It was about thirty dollars. So um, the first um, interested buyer wanted me asked me if I would sell her for ninety with the wig um, as a full, essentially the full set. Um, and I told her no and explained obviously the reason why but I did say I did tell her that if she was interested in purchasing the doll without the wig I'd sell it for 80 plus shipping um, She said she'd consider it um, then I had another um, Interested buyer message me and she Sounded like she was okay with the price and asked me how much shipping would be to her country and I told her shipping I haven't heard back from her yet, but um, I'm not really impatient to sell the doll simply because it is a very, the weekend, well, the next week, weekends, um, are going to be busy. Firstly, um, this upcoming weekend is my husband and my, um, anniversary weekend. We're going to be going out of town on a little vacation, not very far from here. Um, but we will be out of town and obviously I won't be able to mail out anything and I doubt I'll be able to um, ship out the doll um, anytime this week but then again it is only Tuesday is it Tuesday <laughs> but uh, it's just it, it just the coming weekend seems like it's gonna be crazy busy because um, we'll be leaving Saturday or Friday evening and then we won't be coming back until um, to uh, Monday, like afternoon, and so yeah. If she ends up buying it, um, I'll probably explain to her that I won't be able to ship it until after Independence Day weekend, simply because the Fourth of July weekend um, is going to be busy too. Um, yeah. So I'm. As I said, not really over eager to hear back from her, um, mostly because of that reason. And I know what it's like to have to wait for a doll, um, especially for the seller to send out the doll, and I'd rather not do that to anybody. Anyway, um, that is all I have. Um, so if I sell my pull-up, I can put that $100 into savings towards my Yule kid, Yule girl's body. Um, brings me one step closer essentially um and that's all i have for you guys so i hope you're all doing well i've been watching videos sorry if i haven't been commenting very much i'm trying to keep up <laughs> but anyway i'll talk to you guys later have a good one bye